I'm Marie Gallo and we're here at Gallery d'Orsay on Newberry Street in Boston. We're very excited to be showing our fifth exhibition with internationally renowned artist Samir Samoon. And today we're very also excited to be debuting his very first bronze sculpture in a very tiny edition of eight. This is an ancient symbol of peace which is called Olivier. It's an olive tree. It's an ancient olive tree. 2,000 years old and probably more it comes from my village, June in Lebanon, and it was it's casted on a very limited edition eight only, and we want to see this and I want to see this one day in a public place, in a different city, uh, with fountains all around and from water falling on the top. And this is uh, the symbolized piece, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that. So I'm going to turn the, just turn it around so you can have the tree from the different angles. You see, it's not symmetric because as a tree should be, and it's a, it's an actual tree from from my village. And uh, I used to go there and play in that tree. She can climb on the branches and. Uh, very interesting. It's so good to see you, Samir. Thank you for having me. How are you, Jamie? Good. Nice, nice to have you here in Boston. Thank you, Samir. And uh, well, I mean, we do an exhibition every year and in October, because as you can see around all this scenery from the autumn. And all the paintings do have all the colors of life and fall, particularly accented for this time of the year. Yeah, I mean, we, I, I, try, I try to uh, get the picture that goes with the season. I mean, we won't see here a lot of uh, uh, apple in bloom at this time of the year, so, so we do this in, in, in spring. And you're debuting and, Olivier. Yeah, this is the Olivier that uh, I created as a bronze, in addition of eight. But the idea of this is to promote peace everywhere in the world. And uh, we can kind of have an idea about how to do that and hopefully it will happen one day. So the idea is to, uh, to have this bronze casted in uh, a natural kind, not natural size, but 18 feet high. Oh, that would be terrific. And yeah, and uh, you can see it, you see, I mean, you can see the others from all the side. And what we want actually to do uh, is to put this in uh, a prominent place in city, in different city. So the idea is to have an olive, the peace, an olive, what we call it, Olivier for peace, and hopefully in every city to remind the new generation of peace. Well, that's what we want. Olive tree is an ancient symbol Absolutely, that's been yeah. used through time to indicate peace. You offer people the olive branch. Yes. And your particular tree is embracing. It is. Uh, well, first, it's it's ancient. So this this olive tree comes from actually a, a real olive tree. And, oh, really? And, and my in my hometown in June in Lebanon. Oh, how lovely! And, yeah, and my town is known to have. Uh, olive tree that go back to Jesus Christ. Oh era. really? Senior? Yes, and this is oh, one of them. Okay. So okay. it's one olive tree, but you see it happened to be like two trunks because I mean uh, inside they were dead, but this is two trunks and then it embraced, I mean the two trunks are joined at the top. Oh, but it, and it's it really, uh, and, uh, oh, that's amazing. Yes, and uh, so uh, so the idea is I, I, I did it First of all, it joined, and uh, that's simple the collaboration. People will have to collaborate with each other, right? Well, it's an amazing piece. piece. May we turn it just a bit? Does yes, it turn you can. here? And you can see, you can see that the the leaves are bending because it's full of fruit, and this is really before oh, harvest. Oh, it's ripe and rich. And yes, that's something to and offer. Want the abundance. And you that's see, peace. peace. That's his yes. peace. It's, okay. it's really a symbol of. We, we want actually the generation, when they see that, they connect with peace. Let's say it's in a public place and there is fountain, like projecting water, oh, like fabulous. this. And there is water dropping on the, dropping on the leaves and it goes down and uh, I think it's... As in it, water is a medium of yes. communication in life. Yeah. This, the expression 
of the of the handwork that you've applied here is just beautiful. It's just perfect Thank you. Yeah, because it's, it's very human yeah. and it's you. You it, yeah. it's very gutsy. And not only that, it's like your paintings. It's amazing. Yeah. It's it's, it's have, actually yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a continuation one of the olive tree. Did you have experience in sculpting, or is this your first experience? Uh, well, I always did things. You see, yes, but yes. Uh, this is the first bronze. This is the first but bronze. This, I've been thinking about this for ten years. You see, is the idea about uh, you see how do you do the tree? But uh, yes, you uh, have. We've been discussing. Yeah, it we've for been. 10 I years. mean, uh, yeah. you remember? I mean, Fine yeah. Art Magazine. They wanted me to do something for peace, and yes. we were talking about the mosaic. And, yes, yes, yes. But after all, the mosaic would be one piece of the kind. That this is an more perfect, more perfect, and you see it can be in places outside and transcend the time. I mean, and this is uh, well. What's so is, beautiful is it really is an extension of your yeah, painting. Yeah. Yes, and uh, I'm I'm proud of that. So uh, so hopefully we'll be we'll be able to make this project happen. Oh, I think we will. Yeah. I I know because I as I had said I had uh, witnessed another well-known artist describe the olive tree that he had used as a symbol of peace. And then I, I as I thought as I thought and I listened to this uh, lecture, I said, "Wow, this is just a terrific concept that's yeah. here." Uh, and uh, Victor and I have been talking about, and I think it, it's time for it to take fire. Yeah, yeah, and we have actually. I mean, it takes it takes a lot of money yeah, to cast this for, oh, yes. for that huge size, yeah. and then the structure of the thing and the idea. We don't want. I mean, nobody wants to make money with this. Not, no, not me. I don't want to make money no. with that. I want just to see it in public place and uh, inspire to get the, people and to get peace. the message to come. You see the message yes. you see out there for peace. That's important, like, though. Like uh, people like. Mary, she, she is 27 or 28, so this is a new generation, so they would be looking to that and say, well, this is a symbol of peace. Mm -hmm. And when they get to the decision point, you see, and government, so they would be thinking peace, not war. Yeah, definitely. This is the idea. Give peace a chance. Yeah, give peace a chance. So, well, hopefully I'll see it be and in, in my lifetime that big and somewhere. So, but we'll be, we'll be working on that. And so. many of your collectors are coming, right, Samir, this evening? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, so we, this will be a packed house on Newberry Street. It's, and, uh, um, well, it's already kind of uh, a lot sold, right? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's always the yeah. case with your yes, work. Yes, yes. Because it's, here they start kind of a week and a half before the opening. Oh, okay. And okay. the collectors, you see, they know we're coming, and they start coming, and they start purchasing the pieces, you see. Well, I just know everywhere you go, you sell your work. Thank you. I know that's the case, because every time I see you, there's red dots. But I, I do want to say this is a stunning piece, Samir. I had no idea there were 2,000-year-old olive trees yes. that could join yes, yes. and weave back together and embrace. And it's a beautiful symbol of peace. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie.